So I got my radiator out so I can get it repaired. I think I might try to repair it myself. I don't think you can see it, but it's right around that inlet there <clears throat> for the transmission uh, lines connect. So I'll get it all cleaned up. About ready to blow it out with this vacuum. Did a little bit earlier. Let me do some more here. <laughs> finish soldering the radiator here again I forgot to turn the camera on but that's that's the job hopefully it won't leak now and, uh, so we had a little little fracture on this side raised part and then on the back side in the valley you can see it over there so I filled that in pretty good hope that went into the cracks and sealed everything let it cool down for a while and then test it hope put some water in it and see if it holds So I got the gas tank out and it didn't take very long and the hoses, you know how they can stick on the filler pipes and stuff, they came off pretty easy and uh, gas tank's pretty in pretty good shape, I'll show you it in a minute, but I forgot to film it while I was taking it out but that's it, alright, so there's one of the brackets that holds it up. <clears throat> you can see where the two hoses are there, and then oh, let's see, shoot. There's the two filler hoses, the main hose uh, pipe, and the uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? The, the breather hose. <clears throat> sure, it's got a different name than that, but so this is the back, the rear tank. And then up there, you can see it <clears throat> to the left of the muffler. There's the next smaller tank. <clears throat> Be doing that later on at some point. So that's it. The tank is out. I'll show you where it's at now. So now I got the tank out. <clears throat> sat it over here and uh, poured this 64 ounces of drain declogger into the tank and then I filled it up as high as I could go and it's probably been in there for about an hour and I might leave it in there for <coughs> another hour or two then I set it up on some blocks <clears throat> so I can get it high enough. So I'll take that plug out when I'm ready, and it'll fit.
filled in here. And then I can dispose of it. <clears throat> So it's just the waiting game. Then after that, oh, let's say I get that rinsed out. I'll probably go to the muriatic acid bath. Pour a gallon in there. Again, do this process with the muriatic acid. Fill it up with the rest of it with water. And let it set for know, maybe <clears throat> overnight. 12 hours, 24 hours. You can let it go for 24 hours. The reason why I'm using the Drano type stuff is uh, because <clears throat> I had some, it wasn't dry in the tank. It was like some kind of, it was like syrupy type consistency of old gas. So I went online to see what others may have done to do that before they do the muriatic acid. And I found at least one video that he was demonstrating the use of uh, <clears throat> this stuff. It's sodium hydroxide. You can see that there on the ingredients, as it were. Where is that now? There it is, yeah, sodium hydroxide. <clears throat> So that was supposed to maybe be, a, I thought it was a good idea to just use that first, remove some of that grime, and then do the muriatic acid. to keep my original air cleaner for now. I, I had bought a new one, a chrome one, but it, it interfered with my distributor, so I'm using this for now. What this indentation is, or this molding, molded part, that's where the distributor clearance is. And I'm gonna, I gotta find the, the duct to connect that to the uh, forced uh, <clears throat> air. So I'm good with the original, that's alright. As long as, as long as you got air going in there, plenty of it, it should be, you know, it's fine. So I got a new filter for that. Today I'm going to paint this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I sand it all I'm going to sand. And I'm going to... some rustoleum paint. Not sure yet what color. I'm gonna plug it for now. And that's a pretty I think it's a 22 gallon tank. And I'll take care of that water there and then fill empty it some more. So what we got here is our swimming pool muratic acid. 
And I got a gallon out of here. I'm going to be using that one. I don't think it's going to need more than that one, but we'll see. All right, so I will get ready for that. Got my gloves here. Heavy duty acid, you got to watch out. Got my goggles on. That's the muriatic acid. So I'm going to let it sit there overnight. I think I might go paint that air cleaner now. That's next. <laughs> 